Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to make a 2D shooter game like the one you see on the screen right now. When you press the shoot button, it will fire a projectile which will fly through the air and when this hits something it will spawn an impact effect. When we hit something like an enemy it will apply damage to them. This video is going to be a continuation of my previous video, how to make a 2D platformer inside Unreal Engine. In it we go over how to set up our own custom 2D character who can run and jump. The only difference with this project is I've replaced the character that we used last time with our own one as it looks like he's holding a gun, although if you've watched that video you should know how to set up and use your own custom 2D character. If you have not, I'd recommend checking out that video before you watch this one. So the first thing you want to do is head over to itch.io and download the warped asset. This is also where I downloaded the character that I'm using. Once you've downloaded that asset pack, create a new folder inside of your project called Shooter Assets. Then you want to head over to wherever you downloaded the warp file asset pack and look for PNG and you want to select this environment, sprites and sprite sheets and just drag this inside of your shooter asset folder. Once you've done this, with all the images selected, just right click and go to sprite actions and apply PVG texture settings. Now, the first thing we're going to do is set it up so that our player character can shoot some bullets. So if we go to the sprites folder and go FX and look for the shot, we just want to select both of these images, right click and create a sprite. Then with both sprites selected, just right click again and look for create flip book. We then just want to call this bullet. Then if we head over to our blueprints folder, we just want to right click and look for blueprint class and select actor. Just call this bullet underscore BP. And if we head inside here, the first thing we want to do is go add and look for a paper flipbook. Then under sprite, we can select the flipbook that we just made. So it's called bullet. And I know this is quite small. So if we just check this little anchor icon and scale it up so that it's four and the X, Y, and Z axis. Now in games, bullets normally move. So in order to make this bullet move, what we can do is go add and look for projectile movement in order to give our projectile some speed we need to put some values in initial and max speed so initial speed is the initial speed that our bullet's going to be so i made this something like 500 its initial speed is going to be 500 and the max speed is going to be the maximum speed that our bullet will eventually have so i make this a thousand to start off my bullet is going to have an initial speed of 500 and then we'll work its way up to have a max speed of a thousand now i don't want my bullet to be affected by gravity so with projectile movement selected under details, just look for gravity and just change this to be zero. And then we can go compile. And now we have our bullet. The next thing we're going to do is make it so that when our player character presses the left mouse button in their game, it will shoot this bullet. So we just close this and go to your paper 2D character. We want to go to the viewport and just go add and look for scene. You want to place and select the scene where you want your player character to shoot from. So I'm going to place this right in front of my player character's gun. Then if we head over to the event graph, in some free space, we just want to right click and look for left mouse button. And when we press this left mouse button, what we're going to do is look for spawn actor from class. And the actor we're going to spawn is going to be the bullet blueprint that we just made. So we just look for bullet underscore BP. And where we're going to spawn this, if we just drag in the scene that we just positioned and just drag up here and I will get world transform and just hook this up here and go compile, close this and go play. Now if I click the left mouse button in my game, my character will shoot some bullets. Pretty cool. Next, there are a couple things we need to fix. In shooting games, normally when you click the fire button, it will continuously fire bullets until you let go of that button. And secondly, when your bullet normally hits something, there's a cool impact effect. So we're going to go over how to set that up now. If we head over to the paper 2D character, when we click the left mouse button, we're going to make it continuously fire bullets until we release this button. To do that, if we just break the link here and just drag off here and press set timer by event. Then if we just select and move this back a bit. We're going to right click on this return value and promote it to a variable and call this fire bullet event then if we just 
right click on this time and promote it to a variable and call this fire rate. And if we just check this looping box and just drag off this event, like what add custom event and we'll call this spawn bullet. And if we just hook this up to here and compile everything under fire rate, if we select it and just make this have a value of 0.3. When I click the left mouse button, what it's going to do is set up this event, and every 0.3 seconds, it's going to fire this bullet. In order to make this event stop, what we can do is drag in our fire bullet event, which we made a reference to, and just drag up there, we'll look for clear, and invalidate timer by handle, and hook this up here, and when we let go of the left mouse button, it will stop this event. One more thing, just hook this into here, that way when we initially click the left mouse button, it will spawn a bullet. Now if I go compile and play, and if I hold my left mouse button down, it will continuously fire some bullets. My bullets are actually kind of slow, so what I'm gonna do is go to my bullet blueprint and make this initial speed a thousand. That way my bullet's just a bit faster. So that looks a bit better. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is make it so that when our bullet hits something, it will have a cool impact effect. If we just close everything, and go to our shooter assets folder and we want to look for the fx and go for the impact effect just select all the images and right click sprite actions create a sprite and then select all the sprites right click and create a flipbook and we'll call this impact yep then if we go to our blueprints just right click and go blueprint class select actor and call this impact underscore bp and if we head inside here we can go add, look for a paper flipbook, and we'll just make this the impact flipbook. Again, I'm gonna scale it up a bit, so I'll make it four. Then if I head over to my event graph, then what we're gonna do, when this impact blueprint is spawned, on event we can play, what we're gonna do is drag in our paper flipbook, and look for get flipbook length. This will get how long it takes to play the flipbook. And after a delay of however long this impact flipbook is, we're gonna destroy this actor. Then if we go compile, then in our bullet, we're going to make it so that when our bullet hits something, it will spawn that impact blueprint. So if we go add and just look for sphere collision and just reduce this sphere radius so it fits around your bullet. And once it fits around your bullet, if we just scroll down and go on component can overlap. If this hits something, what we're going to do is spawn actor from class and this actor is going to be the impact blueprint. And then we will destroy this actor. Where we can spawn it, we can just right click and we'll get actor transform. And hook this up here. Just make sure that your um, sphere collision, its collision presets are set to overlap or dynamic. Now, there are certain things we don't want our bullet to overlap with, such as our player character or itself. In order to make it so that our bullet will only impact when it hits something which isn't our player character or the bullet. What we can do is just drag off other actor and look for actor has tag. And if our actor has a tag which says ignore, then we're going to do nothing. So if we just drag off this return value and look for branch and hook this up here. If an actor has a tag which is ignore, we're going to do nothing. However, if an actor doesn't have a tag which says ignore, then we're going to spawn an impact blueprint and then destroy this actor. So to add tags to actors, just select the actor itself. Then under details, look for tag and just click this button. Then type the tag that you want it to have. So I want it to have ick, no, and just copy this and also add this to our paper 2D character. So I'll just look for tag and give my paper 2D character this tag as well. And now I go compile and play. When I shoot my bullet, when the sphere overlaps with something, it will spawn that impact blueprint, and it just looks a bit cooler when we hit something. We can also do more things with our bullets. We can make it so that when our bullet hits something, like an enemy, or apply damage to them and destroy them. So let's go over how to set that up. First, we're gonna create an enemy, and we'll make it so that when the enemy is hit by a bullet, it will die and become destroyed. So, if we just go to our shooter assets, and go sprites, and look for enemies, just like the crab idle, and select all of its images and right click and create a sprite. And then we are going to right click again and create a flipbook. 
and we're going to just call this grab idle. Then if we head over to our blueprints, we can just right click and look for blueprint class. Under all classes, we're going to look for paper. And if we just select paper character, and we can just call this crab character. And if we head inside here, under sprite, we can just select the crab idle sprite that we just made. And let's make it a bit bigger. So three, actually four. And just make sure the capsule fits around your crab. So I'm just going to play around with my values. So I'll just reduce the capsule half height and move my crab up a bit. Then if we head back to our bullet blueprint, when we hit something, what we're going to do is just drag off the sculpt and look for apply damage. And we can make it so that when the bullet has something, it will do some damage. For now, just make the bullet do one damage and just hook up other actor into here. That way the sphere knows what to damage. Then if we just compile this and head back to our crab character and if we go to the event graph, we can just right click and look for event, any damage and event any damage. What we're going to do is just destroy this actor. I want my crab to look kind of cool when it's destroyed. And this pack comes with some enemy destroy animation. So if we just go back to our sprites folder and look for FX and look for enemy death. We can just select this and create some sprites out of this and make this a bullet book. And I'm just going to copy my impact blueprint, duplicate it, and just call it my enemy impact blueprint. And inside here, I'm just going to replace the paper flipbook with my enemy death flipbook. And if I just compile this and go back to my crap character, before we destroy this actor, we can just look for spawn actor from class and we'll spawn enemy impact. And where we're going to spawn this, we can just get our actors transform and hook this up here. And if I can compile, close this and just drag in my crab character. One important thing when working with 2D games, you, you need to make sure that everything is in the same layer. So my character and all these sprites are in layer minus 100 of the Y axis. So I'm going to make this enemy in minus 100 of the Y axis. And now if I go play, if I hit my um, enemy with my bullet, it will destroy it and it looks kind of cool. So there's one more thing I want to do. I forgot to do this in my previous video, and that is go over how to use tile sets and tile maps to design cool 2D levels. So to get started, if we head over to the environments folder and we just want to go to the layers folder, first thing we're going to do is use tile maps to create a cool background. So if we just select all these three backgrounds and just right click and go sprite actions and look for create tile set. Then if we just select one of them and right click and go create tile map and just call this level background. And if we just double click and head inside here under map width, just make this seven and under map height, just make this five. And then if you just select with your left mouse button and copy this background, and just paste it here. Then if you just go add new layer, and this will add a new layer on top of this layer. And what we can do is just click this little dot icon and just go to this fungal tile set and just copy it. And then just drag it and paste it on top of here. And as you can see, it'll paste this image on top of the other one. And if I just drag this level background into my level and make sure it's behind my player character and all the sprites, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger and I'm just going to delete this black sprite that I made previously and we can just copy and paste this so there's multiple of it okay and now our level has a kind of cool background there's one more thing we can do with um, tile sets and that is design levels with them. So if we just go to this tile sets um, image, just right click on it and go to actions and create tile set, double click and head inside here. Then under tile size, just change this to be 16 by 16. And then if you just select some tiles, we can go add box, add box and 
add box. Then if I go to colliding tiles, this will show me all the tiles that I've added collision to. So I'm just going to add some collision to these tiles. And then if we go save, all we can do is create a tile map out of this tile set. So if I just right click and go create tile map and call this level tile map. And if I head inside here and make the width of this a 20 and the height 5. Then if I just select the colliding tiles that I made and place them somewhere like here. So maybe I needed to make this a bit bigger, but I'm just showing an example. If I go save, close this and drag this tile map here, just make sure it's the same layer as your character. So make it minus 100 and I'll make it a bit bigger. And if I just drag my player character and go play. Because we made it so that these tile maps have collision on them, my player character can walk and stand on them. And you can basically kind of just use this to design a cool 2D level. One more thing. So I found that my player character can sometimes fall off of the world. So if he jumps on this enemy, sometimes it'll push the player out of his original layer that he's in. In order to prevent this, if we go to our 2D character, we need to go to character movement and just look for constraint and just check this box constraint to plane and here under plane constraint normal put one in the y-axis and just compile and save this and this will prevent our player character from being pushed out of the layer that they start in so i just updated my tile map a bit and now if i go play because i added collision to the style when i shoot it it's going to give me the impact effect when my bullet hits it i can destroy this enemy and that is how to create a 2d shooting game inside of unreal engine I saw that you guys enjoyed the last 2D video, so I thought I'd do another one. If you have any other 2D video suggestions, just let me know in the comments. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could give it a like and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.